Hi there, and welcome to the Arts and Medicine Studio. I'm here with Nitsa. Hi, Nitsa. Hey, Lizzie. And a very special friend that you may be familiar with at this point, Cynthia Adler. Hi, Cynthia. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We invited Cynthia here to thank her for her incredible storytelling skills. We had so much fun recording different stories from Aesop's Fables with Cynthia in February. We, we had to bring her back here to thank her. Cynthia, thank you so much for collaborating with us in February to tell all those incredible stories. You know, it's absolutely a pleasure. I love doing this for you guys and for the kids. Do you guys frequently collaborate with all the stuff that you're doing? Do you work together? But of course, Cynthia, collaboration is the essence of the joy we have at the Arts in Medicine studio. Many times our artists create on their own and share with others, which is a, some kind of a collaboration. But at times we just get a huge canvas and create together and make a composition that reflects how all the different parts of us come together in a wonderful composition and create new art that way too. So yeah, collaboration is the essence of our art interaction. That's beautiful. Cynthia, what do you think about this amazing collaborative painting that we made at the studio? Well. I just loved it. I mean, I thought it was incredible. And when Nita, you know, asked me if maybe I would write a poem for it, uh, I was thrilled. And it just came to me. I woke up one morning and the whole thing came to me because the painting was so terrific that the story just unveiled itself, you know, and it was great. And I, I, I loved it. I loved doing it, you know, and I loved doing it because that painting was a collaboration. Do you think you might be willing to read the poem that you made about the painting? Absolutely. I would love to, actually. Awesome. So let's listen. The Octopus Red. The Octopus Red tried to find a good bed, for that now was his most special wish. But when he finally found a soft bed on the ground, it was filled with a snoring brown fish. Then a butterfly said, There's a more comfy bed near a sweet little girl who's a dancer. So he laid down his legs, and he fell right asleep, and was happy he found the right answer. Cynthia, this was so amazing. I know the painting, and I closed my eyes, and the painting started moving. It was almost like a cartoon. Oh, I'm so happy for that. That's wonderful. How do you write a poem? It just comes to me. I can wake up in the morning and suddenly the words come. And usually I can write it in about mm, 20 minutes. Wow. Usually. If I have to really push for it, it usually doesn't work. Wow. I just have that kind of, you know, it just does it. And for our studio friends who are watching this, look around, find your favorite art piece, and maybe contemplate how to take the visual into language. Write us a word, a poem, send it to us at amnita at gmail.com. And I promise I'll share it with Cynthia and she'll write a poem for your poem. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Thank you, Lizzie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.